All right, everybody. So this is just a quick note on Flipgrid. I've put into some of the feedback that I sent you that you guys should watch your videos again with subtitles on or um, with closed captioning on uh, because that might help you know what is um, you're saying properly or what you're not saying properly. So what I mean is when you put a video on Flipgrid, um, it will automatically translate the words into text, right? I'm sorry, the, no, the word is not translate, the word is transcribe. Translate means change from one language to another. I mean to say transcribe. Transcribing means it will take the words and um, put it into, into text. Just like the transcription, which is the noun form, right, of transcribe is the verb, transcriptions, um, transcripts, right? We looked at transcripts for the um, TED Talks as a way to uh, look at what you're listening to and see what's written down. Well, we can do that here too. So if I go to my video, okay. So, I, so you'll notice down here, um, there's a closed captions button that you can turn on and off. So I very strongly suggest you go back and watch your video pretty soon after you um, record it so that you can kind of remember what you said. Turn on the closed captions and then just listen to see if it's, if it's the same. Okay, so I talk to my son. I can and listen he's and see if this too. is exactly the and same he told as what me that I'm saying. What makes him happy is playing Fortnite with his friends. He said that it was really fun to do it because he could play Fortnite with his friends. Right, so I can watch on his myself iPad and talk to them and, and listen to what I'm saying like and see he if he is really um, together with the his translator friends. is able so to understand my pronunciation. Him this is just like we friend, talked about using even though he the dictionaries to he do said that's what right, makes the online him really happy. Um, online dictionaries or speech recorders where you you speak and see if the machine can hear you this is another example of that so if you're noticing that what you're saying is not being understood if if it's really different what they write and what you say that's a good way to know that maybe some of these words are not being said properly or not being said in a way that's understandable just know it doesn't need to be a hundred percent perfect okay because some of the things that I say, the machine makes mistakes, it's not going to be perfect. It's just, if it's really different a lot, that's a good way to know that you may have some errors without me having to tell you. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.